<coughs> Hi. Um, <coughs> I've been learning about the will, our will. You know, I know God is good. I've known that for a long time. And so I've wanted to be good, yeah? But, you know, maybe sometimes I want to be bad. <clears throat> and if I'm honest with myself, sometimes I do want to be bad. So, God prefer it if I did what I want, because that's my will. So if I decide to do something bad and something bad happens as a result of it and I I get my recompense or whatever um, then I learn something but while I think oh no I shouldn't do that because it's not good then I'm not doing what I want to do and God won't be very happy because he wants me to do what I want to do right and it's only by doing what we want to do that we learn our errors in our soul which were originally not really our fault but You know, we need to learn errors, blah, 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 so we know what's right and wrong. But if we're just pretending to be good, then we're not going to learn the lessons. And, you know, God must have known this. And this is my sort of things I ponder at the moment, is how much... You know, how much of the way the world has gone um, did God plan and did God know was going to happen? And if we understand that God is like, you know, you could say infinitely, I'm not sure about that, but let's say massively greater than all of us. and um, you know infinitely wise or whatever that of course you would know that things are going to be just like they are and that but that's what I'm thinking about lately is like you know what's his plan And the is Jesus the, the tweak that Jesus was a a tweak of the plan, and he may have some other tweaks. And what about this question here? Um, just say, for example, that um, your actions not only affected yourself, but say. Say, for example, you, whatever you did affected your whole town that you live in, or even your whole country. Would you, would you want to act any different? Well, yeah, you probably would, because you'd feel the responsibility that, you know, then if you were bad, um, bad effects would affect the whole town or the whole country, so... Um, God would still want you to do what you wanted to do, wouldn't he? He, she. So, what would you do eventually? You'd, you'd do what you want, wouldn't you? You should. Because, it, you know, our will, our free will, is the, is the greatest thing we've got. And we've got this physical life here for about a hundred odd years. And, um, and then we've got life in the spirit world for however many thousand years before we become 
reunite with our soulmate and become a soul proper. But you know, that's so long in the future. I mean, you know, now this we got to live for now, haven't we? Okay, you know, it's good to know the truth, but you can't just sort of think, well, I'll plan for a few hundred thousand years down the line, because you just don't have a clue what's gonna be down the line, you know. And I got this life, and I'm gonna live this life. I'm gonna do do what I want. I'm gonna act on my will. I'm gonna say to someone what I think, what I feel like thinking. And then, you know, a minute ago I just had this thought, oh, smash my guitar, I feel like, I feel like smashing my guitar. But I know I don't really, I really don't want to smash my guitar, I love my guitar. Right? I really like my guitar. Look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> so, you know, what was that then? Wanting me to smash my guitar. Well, when I analysed that and I thought, no, I really don't want to do that. So then, you know, that's... In my mind now, I'm going to accept that that is some other spirit that that has a will to want to affect my will. Well, my will is that I don't I don't want them affecting my will. I want to do my will. You know, and every now and then in days I get this feeling like I can do anything I want. And it's I feel so good when you remember that. And tomorrow I'll wake up and the phone will go and someone wants me to fix their computer. And, you know, it's my duty, that's how I earn money, you know, it has to be done. It doesn't have to be done. And in fact, the only thing that's stopping me from getting rid of all my possessions and just going off wandering is my son. And I have responsibility to him and I want to be there for him because I love him and... That's my responsibility, you know. So I'm not going to go and do anything drastic like that just yet. And if I did, it would only be for a few days, you know, while I haven't got my son. But, um, no, you know, feeling like that, feel, the feelings like, you know, doing, you could do anything, do anything you want. If I wanted to walk off into the woods tonight, I could. I don't have to go to bed. Put my coat on, go for a walk and just sit in the woods if I wanted you know, if that's if that if that feeling took me. So I will be thinking about the thoughts that come into my head and whether they're really my will and if they are I'm gonna act. I'm gonna do it. In spite of the consequences. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. And um well as I was oh, as I was sitting here playing my guitar <clears throat> and thinking about the fact that God is all feeling and thinking, well, if God's an all feeling soul, right, and our souls are all feeling, he can't hear me play guitar then. All he's gonna, he, she is gonna feel is the feelings of my soul while I'm playing guitar and singing. But you know, I was thinking, surely, you know, God, right? Should be able to do anything he wants, you know. And if, I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. Why, why the heck would he want to <laughs> listen to me singing, right? I'm sure he's heard much better singing before. So you know, he gets what's important. But then I did think, well. If animals don't have souls, then in a sense, they must be the eyes and ears of God. And the fingers of God. The animals. And, uh, you know, you've got crickets. They play music. But I don't know. See, there's so many, I've just made videos about truth and, you know, the, 
the truth hits you. And uh, this AJ Miller, you know, a lot of people are having struggling with him being the reincarnated Jesus. And every now and then I, I allow myself to doubt it and stuff, but most of the time I come back to, well, the things I've learnt from him is, you know, there's been a lot of truths and it's making sense. You know, the reincarnation thing never made sense. You know, just reincarnate, 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 not remembering anything from the previous life doesn't make sense. You know, and this A.J. Miller guy, he could have just done a lot of reading. He could have just read the Elysian, um, Life Elysian, which is very good. Through the Mists, um, Paget Diaries, read it, put it all together. But no, he, he's speaking from the heart. He's speaking the truth. He's just not some clever git trying to fool people at all. I mean, he is, you know, I believe it anyway. You don't have to. But I find that most people who are having struggle believing um, getting like mixed up and they always like talk about Christ and the thing is this Jesus A.J. Miller never mentions Christ he never mentions the word Christ and it's actually mentioned, Christ is mentioned in the Life Elysian Life Elysian which is a, by the way you can just search that and you can get it for free um, yeah and they mention the Christ in there and I think the Christ really is is the Spirit of God so you know when people say oh Jesus Christ you know I think they're getting mixed up between God and the man Jesus you know Jesus was a man but God made a tweak because <clears throat> at that time, you know, people were pretty in a pretty poor state. They were doing quite a lot of nasty things. God made a tweak and kind of put his spirit through a man called Jesus. So Jesus lived his life. He was kind of living... You know, he was getting the experience and everything, but he was almost like, <clears throat> you could argue, he wasn't using his will. He was acting out God's will. It was almost, you could argue. But I don't know, because obviously I wasn't there. <laughs> but, uh, see, you start thinking of yourself as an eternal being. All right, you're either going to think of yourself as an eternal being or a finite being, whether that's a hundred years or ten thousand years, it's still gonna have. You know, if you think of yourself as a finite being, a hundred years or ten thousand years, there's still gonna be that end, right? The end of existence. Now, I don't know any human being who can actually. I know some people say, "Yeah, it'll go black and I'll die." Yeah, no, that's it. That'll be it. You know, they fine. You know, you live your life like that. that's not a problem. That's fine. It's probably a good way to live in a way, and you find out <laughs> that it, you're wrong, and it carries on. But um, there's no way my soul can uh, accept that ceasing to exist. So then you must say, well, we're going to be eternal, and that <laughs> that's almost as hard to swallow, isn't it? forever that's tough I mean that, that's mind blowing and yeah our, our spiritual mind can barely cope with that but our soul can so that's okay the feeling of it the feeling of living forever is, is fine by me you live in the now anyway don't you but you know it's still quite a heavy thing um, but so we've got this short life um, it'd be good to be live perfect, but, you know, most of us aren't. Well, probably all of us aren't. So don't, don't worry about it too much. But, uh, yeah, start living 
living how you want to live, do what you want to do, achieve what you want to achieve in the short time you've got here. You know, maybe, you know, we don't know how long, do we? We don't know when uh, we, when, when it might end, you know, whether we live into old age or what. But, um, yeah. So I think that's probably all people can manage to watch. But anyway, I'm not even doing these videos. No one watches my videos anymore. Uh, since I've been talking about Jesus, you know, the people watching my videos are going right down. Talk about Nibiru, yeah, you get a couple of hundred views, maybe. Which feels nice. Thinking, well, I've made a video and a couple of hundred people have watched it. So I think that's quite good, but I just make them for myself anyway. My little video diary, that's what. I'd still do it, even if... Well, basically, I think one like one person watches my stuff. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, uh, so I think I've come come a circle, and um, I'll end it. Okay, ciao.